I will be her dog. Well, let's do this. We can either do... Ow, ow. <laughs> All right. Florida man or Florida woman stories real quick. Uh, he said, didn't we do... If that's woman, let's talk about okay, women. Okay, we'll start here. Florida woman. Yeah, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, by the way, for just joining us, JoJo Casillas and Rob Churchill on Hi. the couch. If you'd like What's to call up? us, 239-300-2320. A lot of Cleveland tonight. Download the podcast, robshow.com, R-O-B-B-S-H-O-W.com. You can see videos. You can uh, download audio. It's all up there. Olivia Blanco is a 32-year-old woman originally from London. Oh, God bless. She moved from London to Miami just before lockdown hit in March. And since then, she has made a butt-ton of money uh, doing a British accent over the phone for guys. These dudes call for, uh, they ask for naughty chat on OnlyFans from her largely American fan base, and she's making big money. How much do you think this chick makes? She's got 561,000 followers on Instagram. She's a very beautiful girl, very curvy. Um She's making six figures. But she just gets on there, and because she has a British accent, she ta- I wish I could find some audio of her talking in the British accent. There's a lot of photos here. Let's see if this... Detention for two hours every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Every day you come into the classroom and you just... Mm, well, look what you have on. So what? My skirt's too short? It's too tight? Which one? Oh, man. I mean, it's too short. I mean, I can see... She that does t- porn. Is that, that Tommy she Davidson? She does porn. You don't know. No, she does porn because what's fucked up is I know that dude and I've seen him in videos before. So look at that. Oh, you can recognize. Uh, why do you the know all videos? the male? <laughs> That's porn a weird guys. thing to know. That's fucked up. That's why I gotta stop watching porn. Cause see, you see, you think that's a joke. I have a bit about that. He does. And what? look what just happened. I said, son, I know that dude. Wait, so you know, I mean, you only saw half this guy's face, <laughs> and you know he's in porno. <laughs> yeah. How do I enlarge this? Every you can't. Oh, it's getting enlarged. Every day you I don't know what's fucked up. It's... Just... Come on, look. He's well, look a... what you have on. Come on. So what? My skirt's too it, short? It's, it's too tight? <laughs> Which one? From just that. From just that. <laughs> that looks like Montez from Workaholic. You ever work with Eric Andre? That does not... How can you tell that that's a guy from porn? Holy shit. She is a very beautiful girl. Um, she has made $1.7 million in the last year. So less than a year, man. You're talking March to December. $1.7 million from just talking in that sexy British accent on OnlyFans. She, often, she does porn. Well, she gets requests for clips of her just talking. She says they love the sound of her British accent. In the clips, she dresses in sexy clothing uh, and talks towards the camera. Doesn't say anything about shoving anything in any inappropriate places. It's just, she. I mean... What can I say? The Bro, that dude does can't... porn. I know his face. I mean, it's too short. I mean, I can see. That, it, I can't tell. That, to I me, that looks like Deion Sanders. Son, with glasses. He's the built a shit. Look, at you see the lights? You know what? He also Son, that's, they're doing porn. Look what she's wearing. Look what they say. Well, Look yeah, at her the fucking d- light. Son, a, she's doing porn. She's about to get digged down by this dude. <laughs> Dick down. That's not a well, term. It's a nice setting. So what? My skirt. Look at all the lights. You're right over there. This does have the very porn. She's studio. about to get fucked. Like, she's this, not just she talking. She does porn. Her shit's she's, not out yet. She's backing up her talk. Her maybe shit's not out yet. It's about to come out. All right. So maybe this is just a preview. And then this of video the porn. up here. This is what she does to get interest into her account. You so should that, probably look up this on your phone. You should find out if she's doing. What's it. her name? British Olivia. What go to, go to her main profile. Like, go to the go to the it's see if British Olivia. That's her main name. Uh, Olivia Blanco, thirty two years old, from London, moved to Miami, Florida, back in March. Now has made one point seven million dollars just talking in that sexy British accent. Although JoJo believes that she does porn. She does porn. I know that dude. Do you say you know that dude? I know him. JoJo, rec- man, that is a big butt. That's fake. What do you think implants? Absolutely. I wouldn't even know what to do with that. So you're telling me a girl can't do squats and get that? Whoa. Whoa, look at that. That's fake, son. That's fake. If it was real, it would jiggle way more. It's very rhythmic. It is. Like, I feel like I could fall asleep watching this. That's, that's, I don't know how. Mesmerizing. That's fake and it's nasty and I don't like it. You don't like that? No. Oh, God, man, I, I... Go, I, go I know to the one where odd. you can see it. Go to the one. Go down. You could you look at show her butt, or yeah. can you? 
I can't. I mean, okay. I already have. So. All right, go. Look, that is it's fake, in a son. Yeah. That is so fake. And there's a lot of airbrushing that goes into making that look like that. There's That is so she's fake. She's a very pretty girl. Don't get me wrong. If she walked in and she's like, Jojo, your wife, like, uh, God forbid something happens, and you're single, and this woman walks up to you at the, after your big night at the Spitfire Theater in front of seven people, and she's like, Jojo Casillas, I want that dick. You're telling me you're saying no to that? All right, do the pause thing real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I thought. $1.7 million. So good for her. That's a lot of money. I ain't mad at her hustle. She's yeah. smart as oh. fuck. If I was a chick, I'd be on some see, shit that's like her, that, too. That's, that's the real name that I was looking for. Make Olivia look at, Blanco. Oh, yeah. look, her, look at her profile. You see her titties. She got the big areolas. I like those. How can you tell that by these photos? No, son. Look at her. Go up. And look at the... Oh, there wow. You yeah. go. Okay, didn't even know. Jesus, like a cow. Oh, like man. Fairy. I love those. Big, okay, that's enough. I like the big areolas. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get off of that. All right, that's uh, the first Florida woman. That's, tech, that's a good Florida woman story. There's bad Florida woman stories. Normally, Florida woman stories are white trash, like this woman. Uh, yes, that is a woman, by the way. I was about to say, you sure that's a woman? Because yes. she looks like a dude from Cape. Uh, her name is, let's see. Uh, she is Catherine Ann McKinney, 37 years old, of Okalawaha, which I believe is out near Ocala. Have you ever been, either of you? No. Slow Cala? Yeah. Well, I did. I've been to Ocala. Yeah, I've been to Ocala. You ever do comedy at the big, the Breeders' Cup? It's a place where they inseminate horses, and then they do comedy. Uh, they don't do it anymore, but I used to do that room a lot for bonkers. It's quite a show. It was a fun place, man. I enjoyed, That was the good show. If you, Like, imagine the place where they jack off horses was the good show of the weekend. The shitty show was in a racist biker bar in Homosassa, Florida, called uh, the High Octane Saloon where there was a guy that came in and crushed, and he happened to be a gentleman of color, and one of the guys turned to me during the show and said, he's one of them yeah, that we allow here. And I went, whoa, I got to get the fuck out of here, man. Homosassa is a weird place. I've been to Homosassa Springs. Yeah, it's the same thing, just as racist. She was charged with unarmed burglary of an unoccupied structure. Kathleen, uh, Catherine Ann McKinney was. She was arrested numerous times since 2008, this time, she broke into a home, opened a bottle of wine, drank some rum, uh, drank some, then rummaged through things, took a shower, and was discovered by the homeowner laying naked on the living room couch. A woman walks into her home and sees this nude laying on her couch. Doesn't know what to do. She calls the cops. This woman yells that she knows the woman's husband from childhood, which that's a weird thing to yell. You think the guy was cheating on his wife with that? And if so, then that means that his wife had to look worse than that. It's not true. It's not probably, his wife was probably not into some nasty shit that she looks like she's into. Yeah. Like, she looks like she licks his butthole. His wife don't do that. You're, you bring, That's like the second time you've gone to the, the cornhole in her. Are you into that yourself? No, no, no. That'd be your art. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Press the pause That's button. That's not again. a gay no. ass. That's normal, <laughs> man. I'm just kidding. No, I never. No, I'm not. I'm not. It takes a brave woman to go do that. I tell you what, man, I salute a woman who can do that. Because I, look, as a guy, I'm fine with doing it. But as a guy, I feel bad ever requesting or even going, would you do this? All right, here's no my, way. Here's my thing. I don't shave it. that part. I just don't think that's that's one. I'm, I bleach. My, wow. I cologne. We've not, learned that from earlier. We know you cologne. That's yeah, for you, sure. you spice it up in a different I way. I can't do it because I just don't. There's not like a manly way for it to happen. Like I will feel I wouldn't feel like a man. If it happened to Well, me. yeah, because you'd have to be on your back with your legs or, over your head or you're on all fours. Yeah. How, so there's, there's no sexy way for that. Yeah, so that's why no. I can't do it. No. What do you there mean, isn't, no? There's no sexy way of about to do that. Are you speaking from experience? No, I'm just saying the visual in my head <laughs> says there's no sexy way to do that. Yeah, so I just can't do it. But I know some dudes that are into it that I would never expect who are into it. I'm not going to say their names. But in any way that was possible. Would you say if I turn the mic off? Yes. Well, I know the second one. Uh, I, the second one's into a lot of weird things from what I've heard. But uh, that's cool. I like him either way. I love that, dude. I knew <laughs> shit. Yeah, but whatever, man. Whatever you're into uh, in your free time, I ain't going to judge you. I like, look, dude, no. I have, you want to know the truth? There's one porn star that I watch religiously, like anything she puts out. Like, it's at the point where if she was like, hey, I'm going to be in Orlando doing a convention, 
I may be one of those creepy guys that drives four hours to go meet a porn star. Can I ask who it is? Wow, full creep mode. Katrina Jade. She is. I've I, never heard. Dude, of oh my Jade. god, she is so beautiful. I just. I don't know what's. Wait, at least we're getting a picture of that off the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, that was not next. a good. Uh, this is Jesus. Katrina Jade. I. I. Dude. And it's she's, probably already in your. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's show. It's show. It's show. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina Jade DP, baby, go to that. No, Let's I see can't. It. I can't. We'll get kicked <laughs> off. Yeah, I can show her Instagram. Uh, so funny. I've never seen this chick before. Oh man, she is so pretty. Uh, like, and she's. It's weird that I know the improvements she's done. Like, those are new boobs. She's got new teeth, top and bottom. New lips. Um. It's Damn, weird that this, I know any of that. This man follows her Yeah, son. man. Like, <laughs> weird. This yo, man follows dude, her I son. I love her. Like, you are. Yo, okay. So I th- I've even sent her a message like, hey, I do a radio show from my bedroom. Would you like to come on sometime? <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, she took that the total wrong Look way. Look at that. Oh, you were God. being so honest with her, and she did not take it that way. I promise. Yo, uh, she has so, a slut tattooed on her butt. That's so, how you know she's into it. With oh, a yeah. little tail pointing in the I'm right in, direction. I'm in. Uh, okay. She's, she's bad. Though. I'll give you her. Uh, my porn star I'm into is, it's hard, because I'm into two, but I know one of them doesn't do it oh, as much. Oh, she got one on her te- a temple, too. I know one that doesn't do it as much. Okay. Um, Cassidy Klein. I love that little fucking, oh, uh, my Hold God. on, let me get this off, so in case we show anything inappropriate, uh, at first, that we don't show it there, Cassidy Klein. I got the last Klein. one, like, a half a second on there. Cassidy you Klein, fast. R- Riley Reed. Cassidy, oh yeah, Cassidy Klein. Uh, does she have an Instagram? That's the only. Yeah, thing. No, yeah, yeah. she don't have Instagram. All right, let me see if I can it's find a photo. Of... That her? That is her. Um. All right, hold on. Save image as. Wow. Now we're really getting pervy. <laughs> we're we're right. just pulling up our favorite porn stars. Uh. Yeah. She is. That's a very attractive gal. I uh, like that dog. Look. She's so nat. Oh. Dark hair. I love her so much. Like when she moans, I just go crazy. I see, hope my wife's not watching this. That's but. more natural with the boobs. Probably a nice derriere. Oh, son, you gotta watch her when we get done. What is it like? Well, girl not long girl, girl done, does she do? Like, can she I leave everything. before we start watching this? <laughs> no, all right, that's, that's, that's how we end everything. the show. We she all watch everything. it together. Everything. Oh. She does everything. I I'm like, the only thing that I haven't seen her do so far is um uh DP. That's the only thing I've never seen her do. Like, we're, Katrina Jade. We know right where to well, find that. Know, yeah, we know saved her. Saved on my wait, internet wait, browser. We know it's a popular search. I, She's dude, the, I've never seen that, but she does do anything. Why would you search? Wait, else. why would you search it on Google? My, why wouldn't that, you just search it in right the there, site though. that you're watching the porn? Because I because I like to find from all different sources. In fact, you know how they give you this option right here on your web browser where it'll show your most frequently used things on Google. Yes. One of them was Pornhub, and I had to remove it because my kid uses this computer sometimes. And also, when I broadcast, I don't want one of these icons to be Pornhub. And I go, oh great, everybody knows I'm in a gangbang yeah. videos now. All there's, right. well, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, what was the other girl? Real quick, that you were a fan of Riley Reed. Riley Reed. No, it's R E I D. Uh, let me take. Wow, this off look at that! Moment. But she's over there on the right. You Instead see, of 29. looking at hot chicks, look she at this. she has an Instagram. She Riley has an Reed. Instagram. Uh, Facebook. Up top, top, top. Instagram. Riley Reed. No, is, that's not. Is that it? No. But no, that happens else. to be an NFL cheerleader. Oh. Yeah, somebody. Else. Well, nice hit yeah, there, sir. I want sir. the porn star though, right? Because okay. you spell her name wrong. Oh, there, there. Oh, yeah. That's definitely that's okay, her. Man. That's that's her Instagram one. No, go back. Go. go her Instagram was right man, there. Really, like uh, tits out, kicked out. Yeah, that had to be a porn one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. Okay, I can bring that up. <sighs> that's a bomb. Nice butt, cute girl. Man, nice I just want to know where these houses are. Son, they, uh, they uh, make... Uh, the- uh, here we go. Uh, we got to get out of that <laughs> real quick. It's Instagram, but, you know... Big you butt. Can- Man, she's a cute girl. Uh, wow. Like her, them dimples get me. Dude, I know. A girl looks just like that. That's crazy. Maybe it's her. No, I went... Wow. I love that little bitch right there. I like whenever a girl has a tattoo on her spine, because that's how you know they're like... Oh, my God. Do whatever to me. All right, get out of here. I'm just listening to what you're saying. I'm staring. Oh, there's Katrina. See, Jane we're just fall. Down. Look at the rabbit hole we're falling yeah, down. Yeah, look, we, porn. What a bunch of perverts. Which, I know what I'm doing. Again. By hey, the way, we better get to the last Florida man story because we got to get off the <laughs> uh, porn track here. Florida, uh, Florida woman. Oh, the other woman, by the way, arrested and charged with burglary. Let's see this woman real no quick. No affair. Uh, don't say. The wife said that her husband was out of town for work and she had never seen this woman before. The woman claims that she knows the husband. From childhood, the wife said that could be possible. The guy lived here his entire life. 
Uh, but he was out of town. She so. looks like she's going to be really happy about going to jail, though. But that sounds like a move. Like she if plays for that team. I uh, see. I thought. I think that's mistress, man. I think you come home. Like her move is, I'm naked on your couch in the middle of the day, and I want you to take advantage of me. But that's the a guy's man, wife's that's a, there. That's a man hater right there, and she just picked a man, and we're going to ruin his life real quick. Well, that would. You'd have to do some. How would you explain that? No, I don't like. Listen, this is a true story. We were um, smoking a cigarette, if you will, outside of the Laughing Comedy Cafe. And it was a I circle smoke, of, it was one of those, uh, what are the clover cigarettes? You ever see the clovers? The yeah. cloves, yeah. Yeah, the cloves. They smell terrible. That's what we're doing. It's a pre show ritual. And uh, it was me, Kyle Raymond, JoJo. You may have even been there. That's right, baby. And then Shelly Kelly. Who oh, yeah. Is a very large lady. Um, slash sometimes. Man, slash guy. And. She was wearing lipstick, and so she left remnants of her lipstick on the cigarette, and the cigarette made its way around the circle, and it was still on there by the time it made its way around to me, and I went, if I go home with lipstick on my lips, how do I ever explain that to my girlfriend? Like, there was a guy dressed as... Now that she's met Shelly Kelly, yes, but she did not before. This was oh, before see, Thanksgiving. That's beautiful. That's so, all you have to do is tell her. Listen, <laughs> there's a guy. This is gonna dress. sound weird, <laughs> but there's a, a man a, <laughs> who's like six foot four. You'll never believe this. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty pounds of pure rock solid muscle. <laughs> Big thick calves. Uh, whatever. For whatever reason, he likes to dress up like a woman and call himself Shelly Kelly. Uh, we don't do anything because we can't fight him or beat him up. So no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't bother <laughs> she, me. Any she, idea. She'd That's just fine. be reaching down I'm just on us. Like, no, nah, I fuck oh, with Shelly wait. Kelly. But no, if you would just would have told her it's Shelly Kelly and you just would have said the deal, I'm sure she would have been like, Yeah, right, until she met him and be like, Oh, uh, okay. When I told her the story and told her why I did not tell her the story, she completely understood when she met Shelly Kelly. Because then she was like There we go, baby. <laughs> Shelly Kelly. <laughs> Single. Oh, wow. Oh. Yo, you want to do something weird? Let's go all the way back, like, deep into some photos and then like them. No, can we do that later? Let's oh, not do that today, okay? Why I not? We're here now. I get to sleep in tomorrow. We're here. There we go. Do you remember the one where, like, her... Oh, look at me. Oh, wait. There's that. There I am. Go up. There I am. Oh, there's you. Look at me go. Bam. Oh, Larry <laughs> Venturino. Oh, Rob Jojo. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. The one I'm gonna like. That's Kathy Griffin. I love it. <laughs> that was a good one, Churchill. I'll see you working, baby. That was a good one. <laughs> um, all right, let me get back to this real quick. This woman uh got arrested. She was driving. With... She also does meth. No, well, I think so because of the marks on her face, but she was driving on a suspended license. Uh cops saw her make an illegal right turn. They pulled her over. Then she tried to jump in the back of the car and started yelling, Why did you run to an imaginary person in the front seat? She claims that she was actually the passenger and that there was an imaginary person driving the vehicle. Wow. And if you would like to guess as to where this happened in the state of Florida, Ocala. So oh, I was yeah, baby. Ocala. Ocala. Two Always for two, Ocala. Baby. In fact, all of these, they're from Ocala-news.com. That's not a joke. That's actually a website where you can just go find. Boy, the sheriff's department must be having a good time up there. Yeah, a lot of dumb dicks in Ocala. But if you have a suspended license, shouldn't you work on being a better driver so that doesn't happen, you know? Wouldn't you think you'd probably start doing more? Of the, no. She Just. jumped in. Uh, she moved from the front driver's seat to the rear passenger seat. The movement was visible due to the deputy flashlight shining through the vehicle. The driver's side window was down, and the deputy heard a female voice say, Why did you run? The voice came from the front of the vehicle where a female was sitting in the passenger seat with her seatbelt on. The deputy saw uh, the woman wiggle her way to the top. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, anyway, she was arrested for driving without a license. Uh, refusal to submit to a lawful test of breath, urine, or alcohol. Arrested, put in Ocala jail, which I would think would be worse than any jail in the world. Because yeah. Ocala's already a shithole. Um, and then we'll do one quick Florida man story, because I want to do that and wrap up. Um, quickly, before we do Florida man story, JoJo headlining the open mic at the Laughing Comedy Cafe. That happening Wednesday night, laughingcomedycafe.com if you would like to go. Bunch of Comedian, Southwest Florida's best up-and-coming comedians performing for you for only $5. There's a full menu. Six. $6. <laughs> full menu. Full uh, bar. LaughingComedyCafe.com. JoJo headlining that. Rob Churchill, any shows that you would like to mention this weekend? I'm hosting that show. 
Hey, Rob Churchill, hosting the Wednesday Night Laugh-In Comedy Cafe. We're actually going to do a show, by the way, 4 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday before the Laugh-In open mic. Luke Trotta and David Gregory will be joining us. So oh, if you're, shit. Oh, you bringing Luke out here, son? Yo, okay, I told him because Luke lives in, like, Port Charlotte. And I feel like you guys live local. Yo, so man. for me to yes. ask you guys to come do it, it's like, well, you only got to come over the bridge. For him, it's like a 45-minute, an hour drive. So I was like, I sent him a message today. I'm like, hey, man, if you're going to be here for the, the open mic, do you want to come by and hang out? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, cool. I want to have Luke here. It's just... I feel bad asking guys Luke's that live awesome. fucking far away. Luke's That's awesome. right, man. So fuck we'll, Luke. We'll have David. <laughs> yeah, fuck Luke. <laughs> yeah, fuck Luke. We'll say that right now. Uh, David Gregory and Luke Trotta, Wednesday at 4. Uh, we'll be live 4 to I'll, 6 p.m. I'll also be at the Laughing on Saturday night. But. Saturday night. Hosted for the great R.C. Smith, so make sure you guys go out to that show <laughs> and support great comedy and great comics. <laughs> <laughs> I never said he wasn't a good comic. He's a great comic. Shitty person for what he did. Uh, this guy, real douchebag. In fact, here, the audio, this guy. I know what word he said. That was Churchill a few minutes ago. <laughs> that was my ride over here. <laughs> That's what he said. They called that cliff where kids right? were jumping off of in Boston. Um, this guy is a douche, and he was originally sentenced to, like, a bunch of time in prison. His name is Jeffrey Rouse. He went viral back in August after he pulled up in a car in East Naples, pulled up to a stoplight. There was an African-American woman in the car next to him. And at that point, the dude started yelling the most racist things that you can imagine. I bleeped the, I mean, the worst word that he was using because um, I don't feel comfortable airing that. But here's what he said. Am I supposed to be heard? <laughs> Why is that necessary? Well, this guy's a giant piece of shit. Fuck you, Well, the guy was originally sentenced to eight years in jail for hate crime. He pled guilty to three hmm, first like degree it. misdemeanors. Uh, he was deemed, uh, they were deemed hate crimes by the state attorney's office. He was charged with felony for a high-speed police chase. So apparently he also led the cops on a high-speed chase. He also damaged a bunch of political signs in addition to yelling that uh, nonsense at the woman who was doing nothing wrong. And uh, the dude ended up going to jail for only 120 days, sentenced to eight years in prison, and now he is out, uh, they say, because he has mental illness, and instead of being able to get help through the normal drugs that he usually took, his medication, he turned to street drugs. I mean, you guys heard that. Is that street? I mean, that obviously is mental illness in some capacity, but... Coke or crack. But, I mean... Possibly that, meth. He's got a really good lawyer if he can get him out 120 days when the dude was sentenced to eight years in prison. That's so, crazy to me. Or he's in East Naples and his people got the lawyers to help him, so... Well, somebody had to pay for that. I, the lawyer seems like a douche, too. Could have I mean, look how he's wearing his hat. You know what I mean? He looks like... A douche. Here, here's the lawyer explaining... Uh, to the Naples Jail this. Center. That's when he hired Mike Carr as his defense attorney. See, when I first talked to him... He was a raving maniac. I mean, he was just off the scale, screaming. That's how much your life matters. Nothing. The public needed to be protected from, from him. He was not on his meds. Instead, turning to drugs off the street, causing Rouse to spiral. He did serve jail time as a kind of reminder that uh, even when you have mental, mental illness is not an excuse for, for doing horrible things. Rouse what, was wow. crazy. Feel bad for him wow. or something? I know, right? I mean, again, this is what the guy yelled at the woman. Like, Why is that necessary? Your black face. Fuck you, That guy has mental illness? No, that guy's racist, man. He's Straight a up. Bad person. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. should be locked away for 18 years. He's a recruiter eight. for the KKK, for God's sake. And now Golly. he is out, man. That blows my mind. If you're that woman, I would be Supposed to do eight, supposed to do eight years and, and got out a hundred and twenty days. What is that? Four months? Seven years and eight months early. That is crazy. Uh, this gentleman, uh, want to take a guess where this happened? Ocala. 
Yes. Uh, God damn, Churchill. <laughs> arrested. Same, pa- same pajamas. <laughs> he <laughs> smokes. <laughs> he smokes Marlboro Reds. Hundreds. Man, that is a hard set. That's the cowboy killers, right? Son, yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. He's smoking the hundreds. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. His name is Jason Michael Babcock. Four uh, years old. Anytime you use the middle name, something's really, really bad. That's what I used to work for a guy in radio that said if they have three names, you can't trust them. Anytime there's a guy with three names, they're up to something fishy. That's fucked up. I got three names. Fuck that dude. Yeah, but you don't go by JoJo. What's Joe, your middle Joe, name? Joe. Joe. <laughs> Unless Joe is the middle name and it's Joe Joe Casella. What's your middle name? I'm not putting my government out there. Let's talk about this. All right, but right so you now. don't go by it. See, like da- uh, Wayne David, uh, David Wayne Chapman, or whatever the guy's name was. I killed Lennon. David. Yeah. Wayne. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. David Mark Carr, the guy that. Anytime there's a the, anytime there's a three namer. Yes. And 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 it's in the South. It's, Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Uh, do yeah. you need any more evidence than that? It was a kill or a rape. Uh, this dude ended up, uh, he came home, was upset that his trailer was dirty. Surprised that he lived in a trailer. And I'm then uh, beat up his old lady over it. Uh, they ended up arresting him. The dude's charged with aggravated assault. He has been taken to the Marion County Jail. $5,000 bond, all because when he came home, uh, the trailer was dirty. And how, well, I mean, what's well, the level okay, of dirty here's, in there? Here's my beef with that, because I don't want to, like, be for the guy, but, I mean, first off, it's a trailer, and if his old lady's at home while he's working, I mean, how long does it take to clean the trailer? Uh, it happened at 6.30 in the morning, so you think maybe he works overnights, came home, That's what I'm off. saying, so he's probably working overnights, coming home to a Smoking shitty home. Marlboro Reds. And his girl's probably, Circle like, K employee. not doing anything at his trailer <laughs> park, that he and he wants his trailer to be nice. And it, it probably spirals. She she probably hasn't done it for some time. Maybe it's been a whole month. He was like, you know, I'm gonna clock this bitch because she doesn't. Wow. Wanna, okay. She doesn't want to cook or clean That's or do what anything he said, for me. Yeah. He just looks like that guy. I don't know why we're connecting right now. Yeah, <laughs> because you have three names. That's why <laughs> it's yep. the only thing yep. you have in common. Part of the three name club. That is true. Um. All right. A few more, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, Fort McCoy man. Damn it. Uh, dude was arrested. Pull up his mugshot. This guy was arrested. He was found passed out at a stoplight and inside of his car. Oh, had, yeah, baby. He oh, had his yeah. six year old child. Okay. Do she move uh, for you to do that? What you shouldn't be of, drinking oh, and driving. Geez, I should. <laughs> what for drinking and driving with his kid? I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a very the busy and weekend. It was fine. It's when he falls asleep that's the problem. Very busy weekend in Ocala. That's because you did too much. Yeah, it must be like I've never drank that much that I like felt. Oh, I'm saying you left your kid in the car, had two beers. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. but I wasn't driving, <laughs> Dick. I was. I went in and did comedy. I Apparently, didn't... you can't do it in Ocala, Charlotte County. Cool, man. Right. Cool. Yeah, they I mean, don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, they don't. Uh, the 28 year old gentleman is named Alexander Potorf. Uh, he was asleep in the driver's seat with his foot on the brake in the vehicle and drive. Deputies put the vehicle in park and removed the keys. Upon doing so. They asked the guy what was going on, said he was out drinking, failed a sobriety test, and then blew a point one six one and a point one seven four. So that's I oh, think Oh wow, that's up there. That's twice the legal limit, right? We're point oh eight. We're point oh eight. Charged with driving under the influence and released on two thousand dollars bond. Again, there he is. That's Alexander that's- Portoff. So he's a redneck Russian. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Freckles. Yep. Guy redneck freckles. Russian. No, neither of you guys have freckles. I got freckles. And it's I don't trust people with freckles. There, and he had freckles and three and, and no, the three other guy, names. No, the other no, guy, the other had guy. Three, three other guy had three names. Uh, final Florida man story that we'll do, and then we'll wrap up for tonight. This gentleman, what do you oh, think? Oh boy. shit! I mean, when you got Iron Man, what does that say? That's a. I I don't know. It that's a it's, scope. A A, is an N, and another A A D. Nad. Nad. Norad. <laughs> the missile defense. I don't know what North American. Wh- whatever the O is, he made it into like a sharpshooter, like a scope. Um, oh. his name is uh, another guy with three names. Wesley Leon. Oh, you knew he had three names. That wasn't even a question as to whether he had three names. I thought he might have four. That looks like a Wesley. He does look like a Wesley. He was arrested for possession of cocaine and a crack pipe. No. Then they took him Hmm. to jail where he tried to smuggle more crack into the jail. The cops ended up finding it. During a traffic stop, a deputy picked up a glass pipe from the center console and dropped it between the center console and the driver's seat. The deputy identified the pipe as a uh, crack cocaine pipe. The deputy found the pipe during an inventory search of the vehicle. 
After being read as Miranda writes, Lindsay admitted grabbing it and placing it between the seat and the seat console. He also referred to it as a crack pipe. A field presence, uh, a field test of the pipe came back positive for cocaine. He was taken to jail. During the intake process, he was told to remove his socks and shoes, and they would place, uh, place them in a property box. At that point, a small bulge in Lindsay's right sock fell out inside of it. More crack cocaine. So they arrested him for Dang. not only having it, but also bringing contraband into a detention facility. He'll so go to trial more times. So. January fifth, twenty twenty one. That's what. That's a face of crack, man. He just looks annoyed with himself at this point. Like, yeah, like damn fucking, it, Wesley. Why'd you put the crack in the slack, Wesley? He looks like a responsible crackhead, though. Get- he does, because I mean, look at like, that. Like he looks like he works, the, but he does crack. The tattoos are so symmetrical. He's a painter or something. Yeah, but he doesn't pay his bills. Like you can tell. He doesn't have cable. He doesn't pay his tattoo artist well either. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he probably gets them from another guy on the job site. Whoever no, he gets does that, the painting. He, this is his first trip to jail, so he's gotten those probably in there previously. Man, that's hardcore. If you're getting a tattoo on your neck in prison, I mean, th- getting a tattoo on your neck period is hardcore. Getting it with I don't think he cares. Pen ink. He's got three names. Wesley. He's got that on his neck. His name is Wesley. His parents thought they loved him and. That didn't happen anymore. You're really doing a deep dive into this guy's subconscious. Right? Fuck. <laughs> this poor fella. I mean, he just had some crack cocaine. Maybe he just like to relax on the weekends. Not nah, saying pain. you should do that. He's but not loved. 